Buongiorno everybody in America. Welcome to Siena and welcome to an actually beautiful day. Um, ever since we arrived it's been raining non-stop and today's the first day the sun's come out and we can actually see some blue sky, partly cloudy. It's an amazingly beautiful day. Um, I wanted to wait a few weeks before doing kind of my introduction video to Siena so I could kind of get a feel for what Siena's like and try and understand the people, my way around, and um, understand a little bit about the history here because it's just truly phenomenal. It's really amazing to me just the amount of detail and beauty in every simple little thing that you find. Um, I'll try and make my way over to the bottom of the tower and show you um, something. But as you saw behind me, that's the main tower. I'm right in Piazza del Campo. It's the main square of Siena. Um, later on in this video, I have the first day of school. So I can kind of show you guys what school is like and um, show you all the things that I pass on my way to school and give you kind of a sample before actually go into a lot more detail about the history of everything um, later on. I'll be doing probably several videos here in um, Siena, but this is just kind of an intro one. So this is what I'm talking about and you look at something just as simple as this and you can see just the immense amount of detail that's gone into every tiny little piece and you get somewhat of a sense and idea of the amount of time and effort that went into building all these small fortress medieval cities here in Siena. I mean in Italy, Siena is just one of the many. You saw San Gimignano a few weeks ago. Well Siena is a little bit bigger. Um, a little bit bigger. It's a lot bigger, um, but it still has its true origins. The Palio, which is the horse race that actually goes around this exact square twice every year, has been going on for, I believe it was 700 years now, or 1700 years. Um, there's just so much history and information that we've been given in the past few days that it's hard to exactly remember the numbers, but uh, I'll have the number up on the screen just to let you know. Um, but anyways, it's just kind of overwhelming again in the amount of history, the amount of things to learn, the amount of details to study, and um, so I'll be, like I said, putting a lot of videos up in the future to give the history here in Siena because I think you could spend an entire lifetime studying this city and still miss at least half of it. It's just incredible. Um, so right now, like I said, it's about the third week. We're still finishing up our regular intensive Italian um, and then starting next week will be regular classes. Um, my regular classes include art history and mostly the art history of Florence and Siena and so we'll be taking a lot of trips as a class to those two places and through Siena. And, and to Florence. I've already been to Florence this past weekend. There'll be a video coming up pretty soon about Florence and Arezzo where I made my way this past weekend and trying to reserve a place to be able to go um, to Venice this upcoming weekend. So hopefully I'll be able to provide a video for that as well. Um, anyways, now it's about 9.15, so time to head to one of the last days of intensive, intensive Italian before the regular classes start next week, and I forgot to mention, so I'm doing the art history, and the other class I'm doing, oh gosh, construction, hold on, a lot of places are under construction, um, and I'll, I'll go into more detail about that in future videos, and how you can avoid construction, and how you should be aware of it, but anyways, um, so my regular classes include the art history and it includes, oh my goodness, um, creative writing. And the creative writing class is actually taught by the same teacher who my host mom takes an English class with every week. 
so that'll be kind of cool and kind of fun. Um, my host family, by the way, absolutely amazing family. Um, I'll go into, hopefully, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video of, hopefully you can still hear me with the construction, oh my goodness. Um, I'll do a video of my host family pretty soon and show you them. They're just the coolest people and they know a lot of English, so it's been cool to learn from them about all a whole bunch of history because my host mom has actually lived in Siena her whole life and my host father is from Spain so um, and, but he moved here about 20 some years ago so anyways make this video kind of short and see you guys in the next video take care